here on Brother Steve from Hollywood, California with another great Brother Steve Skype time interview and one of those great interviews that I do to bring you information across America and the world. My very special guest today is Mother Sandra Jones from Michigan and she's a candidate for the trustee board of the Church of God in Christ. Mother Jones, how are things in Michigan today? Wonderful, Steve. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm enjoying this wonderful, beautiful California weather in the month of October. How's that? Well, we're enjoying the same kind of weather in the month of October in Michigan. How about that? Don't get happy about that. It ain't like California, all right? So <laughs> let's go right into things. Mother Jones, you're a candidate for the trustee board for the Church of God in Christ. Very simple. Cut right to the chase for all of our thousands of people that's watching. What will you bring to the trustee board for the Church of God in Christ? I will work to ascertain the budgets for the National Church. I will work uh, with the properties and the maintenance of the church and, of course, all of the expenditures. Um, we will uh, also try to assist and work with the general board and, of course, uh, the presiding bishop, keeping in line always with the Constitution and the bylaws of our church. That's very, very important. Now, you know, a lot of people have not been known in the Church of God in Christ for many years, but you are a daughter of the church. Talk about some of that 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 care that that history with being a daughter of this great church. I think what that does is it allows me to have the passion for the church. In addition to the passion, you have to have the spirit of the church. I know, you know, we use that old phrase, you can't join it, you've got to be born in it. Right. Well, they're referring to it spiritually, but also in the natural sense. When you're born into the Church of God in Christ, you have the spirit of the church. You understand its language. You understand the, you understand the ups and the downs, the good and the bad. And you, it does not sway you from believing in your church. It does not sway you from not wanting to work in the church and do the things that need to be done as a member. I think it is so important, uh, being a daughter of the church. My father was Bishop Frank W. Smith, mm. a longstanding pastor, superintendent, and a bishop in the church. Both my uh, mother and father, my grandparents, on both sides were Church of God in Christ. Wow. So I've been very fortunate to love this church. I, that's all I know. I was brought up to love it. I was brought up to uh, be loyal and faithful to it. And um, it's my desire. I enjoy it. It's what? not just, it's my passion. Right. Now, 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 you know, you said the key word, which I was really getting to, and the key word here is passion. You know, mm -hmm. being a member of the Church of God in Christ, I hear, I see the passion that you have for our great church. And I think it's just incredible that what you're doing is you're incorporating passion in what you do and what you have. I think it's very, very important that the people understand the passion. You've seen this church grow many right. years on and on and on with new technology, with right. Skype, with email, yeah. with texting, mobile phones and things of that nature. What could you bring? What could you tell our, our, our viewers right now that you would bring you know, with, with, with your with your passion to a lot of our seasoned saints to the trustee board of the Church of God in Christ. You know, Brother Steve, that's interesting that you mentioned all of the technology. Mm -hmm. What a lot of people don't know about me is I brought the first uh, PBX system to the National Church at Mason Temple and at the headquarters when it was in, you know, in the Chiska. Okay. I put in the first fax machines for the National Church. I put in the first 800 service for the National Church. I proposed the first data system for the National Church. So I'm about first. And I believe that I can bring that passion back to the uh, Board of Trustees and to work with the General Board, work with the presiding bishop. And, and not just because I want the job, but because I really feel that I can bring that first to it. I can I can bring a lot of the technology. My background, I worked for AT&T for 25 years. Oh. And uh, I worked in marketing uh, all the way up to director level in Baskin Ridge, New Jersey and back in Texas. So and I work with major companies like Telecheck. Everybody knows about Telecheck. Yeah, everybody knows about Telecheck. <laughs> everybody knows about Telecheck. And I handled Telecheck for the whole Southwest. So I'm all about first. 
I'm all about technology, keeping up with technology, understanding uh, what it takes. And as far as the board of trustee is concerned, a lot of the travel that we do, a lot of things that we do, we could possibly do them via Skype. A lot of the conferences that we need to be involved in, you know, we wait until we get to these meetings. A lot of things could be done by Skype. A lot of it could be done through teleconferencing and so forth and so on. So I think that, you know, just my background alone, not just in the church, but my secular background could assist maybe in bringing some of these things to their attention. Whether they decide to do it or not, you know, is a different situation. But I could at least make the suggestion. I'm going to go down this road, and, and, and to all of our people watching, don't jump off right now, but I'm going to go down this road with you, and it's very simple. We have a lot of people running for the trustee board who may be a little bit younger, and then we have our seasoned saints. You know, And what I want to say, what could you assure to the seasoned saints? Because some of them feel a little bit left behind with so much technology. Now, I want to give great congratulations to the IT department of the National Church where the Church of God in Christ is over 98% online registration. Now, that is huge. It's major. I mean, awesome. my awesome. father, he I called him one day. He said, hey, I'm registering for a convocation right now online. I'm about to go crazy, you know. Yeah. So what would you, what could you assure our seasoned members of our church that you are going to maintain uh, with our Church of God in Christ heritage? I'm 64 years old. I will be 65 next month. Okay. I'm in that category. Okay. I can assure them that they will not be left behind. Okay. Because I'm a, I'm a living example. I'm retired. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I'm very active in my local church. I'm active in the jurisdiction. Amen. And I have been very active at the national level really since 1982-84. Okay. So it, it's, a, it's incumbent upon you to stay active. It's incumbent upon you to stay knowledgeable about today's technology. I don't think that age makes the difference. I think you have to be willing to step out there and learn new things. You've got to be willing to understand technology and take the time, just like with Skype. You know, it's new for me, but I stuck with it. It's that stick to mm -hmm. that you've got to have. You cannot have the mindset to say, I can't do this. Right. I can do all things. Right. Christ, who strengtheneth me. And I just really believe that. Now, Mother Joan, don't start preaching. I know you evangelists. Don't start <laughs> preaching on this interview because I'm not going to give you no offering today. All right? Don't start I preaching need on this one. interview. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> what, if I jumped on a plane and flew to Michigan right now to your jurisdiction, what three words would the people say about you out there right now? They would say I'm innovative. Mm -hmm. And they say, if you go around Mother Jones, be prepared to work. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't want to work, don't go around because she's going to put you to work. And, and, the, and the last thing that they will say is Mother Jones is going to preach to you, pray for you, and teach you the word of God. Mother Jones, you are such an encouragement to all of us out here. And and, um, and I want to also congratulate you for the wonderful work you've done with the Church of God in Christ Publishing House. The archives is just incredible. You. You're a very strong board member there with the Publishing House. And I think that shows that you're able to work with the group of people to make things happen with the Publishing House. And that's such a wonderful, good thing. What would be your closing words that you want to say to all of our people watching right there? I want to say that I love people. I love working with people. Learning to work with people from at and I could not have achieved the level that I achieved working by myself. You cannot do anything alone. You have to be a team player. You've got to know how to work with others. And you must be able to uh, follow instructions, follow the Constitution of the Church of God in Christ, follow leadership, work with those who have rule and authority over you, not complaining, but just getting the job done, whatever is assigned to you. And you do it uh, with love, you do it with kindness, and you do it with an understanding. I believe that I could bring to the Board of Trustee that level of trust, a level of loyalty, and definitely a commitment to my church that I would never, ever make them ashamed. That I would do what I need to do to get the job done working with the team that is assigned by the National Church and whom they have elected for me to work with. Amen. Mother Joan, thank you so very much for taking our time on your schedule to join us 
on this Brother Steve Skype time interview. Thank you out there for watching us today on our interview. I'm Brother Steve, and you know what? We like to connect you around America and the entire world to what you need, what you want to make happen, and what you want to see happen in your future. I'm Brother Steve. Contact me. My information is always on the screen. My Facebook, my BrotherSteve.com webpage, and everything else. It's been a joy being with you on today. Until next time, my special guest today is Mother Sandra Jones from Michigan. Until then, be good to yourself and kind to your neighbor. If you see someone without a smile, give them yours. Until then, God bless you. God bless you.